Welcome back everyone to 40k gameplay with Infinium and um, Gladius and the Tau because of course I set it up as random and now I get space commies. Well, uh, I do have something of an interesting topic, or I think it's an interesting topic at least, uh, to talk about today. As I move all my forces. All three units, apparently. Yes, all three units. Holy crap. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, yes. Now to choose my research. Uh, let's go with how you kind of... Or no. Veterans of the Long War. Okay. So. My interesting topic is actually uh, something that I bring up in my video tomorrow. Or at the end of my video tomorrow. Which is um, the Perturabo Primark video. And I've already lost a chaos bomb. Yeah. But, um, and this happened in the Legion's video. And I kind of expected it to happen in the Primarchs videos as well. But didn't really, uh, didn't really know to what extent it would happen. Alright, again, I apologize. You'll see me yawning throughout the video, or you have seen me yawning throughout the videos all week. It's because I'm recording them all at the same time. And I, uh, I just got out, and I'm recording all these videos back to back to back to back after I get off work. So, um, I am exhausted, uh, which I will, uh, I will continue off something that I said in, uh, last week's video of Gladius about, um, drive to do YouTube videos. Oh shit, there's really no good place to put that, is there? Fuck it! I'm a Chaos Cultist, apparently. No, wait. Yeah! I'm Corn Berserkers. Anyway. Um. Sorry. But, uh. Yeah, so. I think there's a lot of, uh. Let me go ahead and put you fuckers in Overwatch. Uh, but, so, uh, first topic, first topic, okay. Sorry, really tired, trying to stay on task here, and it's surprisingly difficult. Um, well, I guess the Space Marine faction, so that didn't dick off for me, did it? Uh, Anyway, so um, so the Legions and Primark videos, the interesting thing that happened there. Well, I already had this preconception on who my favorite Legions were. 
And as far as like, especially in the Loyal Legions, there were a few that really honestly surprised me. Namely being the White Scars. They've always been kind of a middle-of-the-road legion for me because, well, I, um... <laughs> I, I, I have always thought that, you know, there wasn't that much lore about them, so there wasn't much to know. Um... Didn't really find them worth looking into, but after doing the Legion video on the White Scars... I was really wrong, and they became my favorite loyal legion. So, um, yeah, and now with the Primark videos, I've only done three so far. I've done Lionel Johnson, which was kind of predictable. I've done Fulgrim, which was... We're going to call that one interesting. And then tomorrow's video is Perturaba. And I will say the Perturabo video actually kind of surprised me. I won't spoil how. You'll have to watch the entire video to figure it out because I do say it at the end. But um, I, I learned some things that I did not know. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this lore series. And I'm doing it the way I am. Is because I am constantly learning. New things about the Primarchs and ooh, play uh, about the Primarchs and the uh, the Legions, and quite honestly, you know, it's really kind of cool, just on the basis of I have fifteen years in in being in the uh, Warhammer forty k hobby, and now. Granted, that's more through the lines of playing the tabletop, getting into the lore, stuff like that. I don't really do the miniatures. So, it's one of those things where it's a very specific uh, circumstances that I am, I consider myself part of the 40k community. Again, mostly through the lore and the uh, tabletops. And even through the games, actually. Um, that being said... I think it's rather interesting because, oh please, some of that hurt that. Not as much as that fucking hurt. <clears throat> Run away. Damn, that fucking hurt. But anyway. It, uh, it's one of those things where as I'm learning more and more and more, and, and I'm learning more specifics too, makes it really a, uh, a quite honestly, a unique and uh, worthwhile journey for me. Now that being said, there are some things I'm learning that just made me kind of uh, groan, quite frankly, sometimes. Because, well, let's be honest, there are some parts of 40k lore that are either A, tedious, or uh, B, just special. <laughs> let's, not, let's not split hairs. There's some, there's some special parts of 40k lore. Uh, Ultramarines, for example, which are made entirely out of plot armor. You know, so... Please kill the motherfucker. I don't know how to kill it. But, uh... But I, I do I do really honestly find 40k lore very fascinating. Um, it can be a bit overwhelming for... For people just coming in. And I get that. But, um, but, yeah, you know, it, it's, in my case, it's always been well worth it. I, I love it. <laughs> I was kind of asking for that one. But, um, let's see how you stack up to it. Not well, apparently. Can we please kill the fucking guy? There 
we go. They had something that did damage. But, uh, but so, yeah, that's, um, that's something that I, I can also say. That's one of the things I really love about 40k Lord, because it is so vast. You know, someone who has 15 years of knowing certain things in the Lord, I'm still learning new stuff in the Lord. So it's, it's really quite cool. Get back here. Fucking finally. You were a pain in the ass, weren't you? Let's see. Uh, yeah, fire on that. But now, um... The, uh, the other bit where I am going to continue on my rant from uh from the last episode that I probably should just honestly leave the hell alone but I'm not going to is uh I get I honestly I don't get offended very easily in most circumstances. Uh this is one of those circumstances where it is kind of easy to piss me off. Um I get really super super upset about uh, youtuber some youtubers uh, who want to blame everyone but themselves for their situation I am not in the best of situations but it's my doing yeah, I, I've had health problems. Uh, those health problems are because I do not take care of my body. I honestly haven't since I was... Shit, since I was a teenager, I really didn't take care of my body. So, you know, it's something that has been going on for a long time, and it is catching up to me. Um, to give at least the brief details that I can... Um, Currently, my doctor is worried that I might have some potentially severe intestinal issues, but the good news is she did rule out that I don't have cancer, and I don't have diverticulitis, which is inflammation of the intestine. So, there was some good news I got from that, but we are we're looking at other things it could be, and we are starting with the more severe um, options just to just to narrow it down at least be like okay it's not it's not level five bad let's get a level four bad then let's get level three bad then let's get level two bad then let's get level one bad then let's let's get to the shit that's just not bad so um that's currently how the conversation is going but um i'll say this in the past month and a half I've had seven ER visits, two visits to my primary care doctor. I might need to go see a specialist. I will definitely be seeing my primary care doctor again. Um, and I've been working full time. Uh, I think the shortest amount of time I've worked in this period where I wasn't out. Uh, actually, uh, I was out for about four days due to the kidney stones at the beginning of it. So that would be the shortest week, but I still, I think, worked like two or three days that week. But after that, it's been, I think, four days minimum, and on average, I've been averaging six. Six or five a week. So, you know what? If I can do that and be in that much pain... And be in, you know, that, well, let me rephrase it, be in that much constant pain. And also come home like I did, like I mentioned uh, in the previous videos I've done. Um, I'm recording all these at the same time, back to back to back to back. Come home after work, record six videos, 
for not the following week, but the week afterwards. So I can just if staying on schedule for me is getting the videos two weeks ahead because I know if something bad comes up and I'm not able to upload, I will have a two week kind of leeway. And um, and so that's what how I manage my YouTube channel is that way I have that two week leeway in case something really bad does come up. And I've had twice now in the past uh, two months, two or three months, uh, where I have had to do two weeks worth of videos just to get back, where I was like down to the wire, like having to upload a video for the next day and then record or and then upload the rest of the videos so I could still maintain that two week ahead. Now, here's my problem. Um, the argument that I have heard used as a, well, you know what, fuck being nice. I'm going to call it exactly as I see it. A crutch uh, is quality over quantity. Okay. I have an analogy to go uh, with the quality over quantity argument. Let's use YouTube videos as an example. And the towel will never ever fucking reach me. I am making damn sure of that. Um, let's use quality over quantity as, uh, as it pertains to YouTube videos. Uh, let's take my videos now that I'm doing with, uh, with my lovely green screen. Uh, that I don't that you cannot see right now, but you could see in some of my uh, other videos this week because issues. Uh, but look at my videos now, and look at my very first video. Look at my videos a year ago. Look at my videos a year and a half ago. This I've actually just passed the two year mark on YouTube. Um. Six days ago from recording this, and when this releases, it'll probably be like fucking three weeks. I, uh, my two week mark was January the 9th. Or, excuse me, my two year mark was January the 9th. So, I can, um, I can confidently say that I have improved. I've improved the quality of my videos. And I will also say one of my videos now is in quality equivalent to or better than five of my videos when I first started. That being said, and, and here's where quality over quantity matters. Why do why what what do you, uh, let's clear that and let's get in some Actually, I'm going to wait for you to clear that, and then I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to go into, uh, produ producing shit. Um, so, here's where quality over quantity is different. Yeah, so like I said, one video now, better than five videos then. Now, one video then is better than zero videos now. Why is this important, you ask? Well... I did the math because I am ADHD and special, and I love to prove a point when I feel like I'm in the right. If I go to prove a point when I feel like I'm in the right and find out I'm in the wrong, I feel like shit. But if I am in the right and I go to prove a point, I'm like, hmm, the math is in my favor. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm smirt. So, here's where I get frustrated. This is where it becomes... Well, yeah, this is a good word for it. Unacceptable to me. Here's where I believe people lose the right to bitch. I compared my amount of uploads, and this includes streams, because I do save my streams, and you can watch them in the future, to another YouTuber who um, does not save their streams, or at least does not save the majority of them. And um, uploads are <laughs> well, you know what? Let's just let's just discuss this. So I went one year back, all the way back to January. I went from January twelfth, twenty twenty one, 
to January 12th, 2020. Okay. And I'm going to tell you this. This is where it gets really funny. My channel, Ludus Infinium slash The Librarian, as I have. I would say a good amount of videos for any YouTuber in one year would be, let's say, um, for a year, 200 videos. 200 to 300 videos. That sounds decent for any YouTuber who also has a life and tries to maintain said life. I had 387. I was uh, I was surprised by that number. I was a lot higher than I thought it would be. The other YouTuber who I have seen bitch and moan because YouTube does not recommend their videos and treats them so unfairly in the past year. Now again, I'll reiterate this: this is not me flexing. This is not me bragging. This is actually me being surprised at my own work doing 387 videos in a year. But again, I you know I think a good average would be anywhere from two to three hundred in a year if they're somewhat if they're committed to it. The other YouTuber did nine in a year. That's not even one a month. I think that that is just an absolute slap in the face of a community that comes to the, uh, that, that YouTuber builds, or, well, I'll even take that YouTuber out of it. If I were to do that, what... I would lose my mind doing that, but if I were to only upload nine videos in a year, I would feel like I am betraying my community. I would feel like I'm not living up to their expectations or my own. So, I'm on, you know, it's something that I do take very personal. If, you know, if you want to do YouTube, do it. If you don't, don't. Don't do this half-ass shit where all you're doing is yeah, lying, lying either, you're doing one of two things. You're either lying to your community, or you're lying to yourself. Pick. Because, let me tell you something. If you were devoted to having a YouTube channel, minimum. The absolute minimum, like I said, acceptable for maybe two to three hundred if you're honestly dedicated to it. Minimum, I would say, is even close to acceptable would be a hundred. This is someone who can only do maybe, uh, shit, a video a week would be 50. Give or take, it'd be 52, honestly. But uh, 50, I would say 50 could be the lowest. Let's do that. 50 would be the lowest. When you can't even cut a fifth of that, yeah, there's something really wrong. And I just, I think that it's an insult to to the people that, you know, want to support you. And, you know, am I an asshole for saying it? Well, probably. But it's one of those things where I may be an asshole for saying it, but Justify doing less than a video a month. I want to find one person out there. Do it in the comments section. Or if you want to, do it on the Discord. You know, uh, I want someone to justify to me being able to do less than a video a month. For whatever reason. I don't really care what that reason is, but I would love to. I would love to hear it. It's one of those things where I am genuinely curious. But uh, what you know, 
what could justify it. Now, granted, if it's someone with a full-time job, understand, I'm going to be a little bit unsympathetic. Here's why. If you say someone has a full-time job and can only do, you know, one a week, okay, that's fine. I understand that. I have a full-time job. I can pump out six a week. There's always a means to an end. Or a, where there's a will, there's a way. I will find some plenitude that will work. <laughs> Not a great one, mind you, but I will find one. And it's just, uh, it's... Sometimes you gotta make shit work for you. And that's honestly the problem I see. So, if you can't make something work for you, or you don't want to, why do it? Why waste your time and other people's time? I mean, quite frankly, me personally, I try to, I try to constantly improve. Again, this is why I got a green. Well, why I made a green screen. This is why I uh, I try talking to uh, try talking to y'all personally through the face cam. You know, I, I hope to have more interaction that way because you know I, I like the interaction. I want to know what you know people think you know, stuff like that. It, it's something that I um, I genuinely do want to know. And to me, it's it's relatively important. Here I am, exhausted, working on video 5 of 6. So if you're telling me someone can't, yeah, if you're telling me that due to the limitation of work, that they're limited to one a week, okay, sure, I guess. Yeah, but I'm kind of proof that if you are working a full-time job, you can do more. On the same note, another issue I have commonly heard is mental health. Depression. Here's where I'm really going to be an asshole. I've lived with depression for over 20 years. Oh no, I'm sorry, not over 20 years. Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't been quite that long. For 18 years. Close to 20. But I've been living with depression for 18 years. I have tried to take my life when I was younger. I Granted, I only tried it once. But I did try it. And a lot of stuff has has happened between then and now. So, so of those things where in some cases, yeah, I get it that I get that mental health can be an issue. But with mental health, there's two bits of advice that I can really give that I have learned over the years. Number one is you are always stronger than what you perceive yourself to be. A, uh, a very common thing that I have seen, at least with myself, is that I always expect less of what I can deliver. Like, I always, I always think I could do, we'll say, um, I can do 50 tasks when I can actually do 60 or 70. I always see myself in that negative one. That is, unfortunately, part of the depression, but it's also part of my personality. I'm just, I'm extremely hard on myself, and I always expect myself to be better and better and better and better. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's one of those things where I can easily say that having lived through that, having (sighs) 
having dealt with some of the issues that I have had to deal with, and having... How do I want to work this? And pushing myself the way I do. For instance, I've been at this now for about three and a half, four hours working on videos. I can promise you, if I didn't enjoy it, I damn sure would not be doing it. Slap, slap. Yeah. But, um, I mean, and I've been at this for four hours just recording. After working almost a six hour shift, like five hours and 45 minutes or five hours and 50 minutes, some shit like that. So that alone today is just 10 hours work. And then after this, I'm going to go through and edit my videos and then set them up to upload while I sleep. Where there is a will, there is a way. Am I going to be tired tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, probably. But I should still, with my work schedule and my sleep schedule, be able to still get eight hours of sleep. If not actually oversleep. So, when, you know, when it comes to it, it's one of those things where... I really am one of the more critical people because I live it. I live it every day. You know, in addition to this, uh, thank God my wife is home for the next few days because of her work schedule. So she can take care of our son during the day and gives me time to sleep. If that weren't the case, I'd be extra fucking cranky because in addition, or me. In addition to everything, I would have to stay awake during the day, and I would probably go about one to two days with little to no sleep, trying to get everything done. And I have done that before. I have gone two days with a grand total of about six hours of sleep. It ain't fun. It ain't a good feeling. I've done it. I've done it to... In I've done it to keep up the promise I made to the people who support me to originally do five videos a week and I've upped it to six and to also make it where I'm so sorry but and to also make it where I'm constantly improving and at the same time have to take care of what I have to with my job with my family everything like that still be able to do it but that being said I just crossed the 33 minute mark and I have one more video to record it's going to be about 15 minutes I don't want to do it but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but um might take a small break to get some coffee in it probably or tea or something something to at least make it where I don't yawn all the way fucking through it but again, if you enjoy the content, subscribe, leave a like. If you want to have more of a discussion about, you know, any of all of this or about, you know, what I do on the day-to-day, -day, join the Discord. You know, we have a great family. And if you ever feel like you're going through something like I've been through, reach out to me. Reach out to some of the members of my Discord. They're all really good people. We built up an amazing family. But with all that being said, all I really have left to say, and as kind of... Exhausted as I am, I hope you all have a very wonderful day.